Women's Basketball Media Day rolls on here on the Big Ten Network. Ohio State head coach Kevin McGuff reloads after leading the Buckeyes to 25-plus wins and NCAA tournament berths in each of the last three seasons. In Madison, Wisconsin head coach Marissa Mosley returns big-time talent Sarah Williams. The Badgers keep increasing their win total under Mosley. High expectations in Evanston this season. Northwestern head coach Joe McEwen brings back four of the Wildcats' top five starters. Those three are joining us right now here on the Big Ten Network. Welcome back into Rosemont, Illinois. Kylan Mills here with you alongside the three head coaches that I just mentioned, Ohio State head coach Kevin McGuff, Wisconsin head coach Marissa Mosley, and Northwestern's Joe McEwen. Joe, I know you're thrilled to be here. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing great. Uh, I'm doing great. <laughs> Easy on the gas mileage, so yeah. Right, exactly. Evanston, not too bad, not, not too, too far bad. from yeah. Rosemont. Yeah. All right, well, fair enough. Thanks, thank you. A new era of Big Ten women's basketball is about to get underway. We're just a couple weeks away from 18 teams competing for a title in this conference i know you guys had heard that already right this isn't the first time you're hearing <laughs> yeah. that yeah thank okay. you so much for that right yes i know i thought i was letting you know some really proprietary information here uh but a lot's going to change what are you looking forward to most and maybe what are you still waiting to see in terms of managing some of the travel and the other factors that play into it yeah, I'm looking for. I mean, we. I, I felt like last year we had the best conference in women's basketball. Clearly, we do this Across year the with board. the addition of the the West Coast teams, and so there's just a lot of talent. And so I'm excited to compete against some of the best teams in the country. And we know it's going to be a huge challenge, but uh, it's going to be really fun to see how it plays out. Yeah, I, I would agree with Kevin. I think you know <clears throat> we always say in recruiting we feel like we have the best conference in the country, and um, I think also just the new challenge for um, you know when you're playing new teams and we're only playing everybody once and one team twice, that's also going to be um, kind of a, a new challenge. And so um, I'm really looking forward to seeing how that goes, and obviously more opportunities for more teams to get into the tournament. I, I think one thing I was watching my player last night, Veronica Burden, play in the WNBA for Connecticut. And, you know, just coming off the year we had NCAA-wise and, and, and watching the pros, I just hope we can, we can take advantage of this opportunity in women's. We have a great window right now. Our game is so hot. We got great coaches and players, and I think we have the attention of the fans. So, um, really, that's what I'm looking for and looking forward to. The excitement surrounding women's basketball right now, unprecedented with the Big Ten really a catalyst for what we saw last season with Caitlin Clark, the Big Ten women's basketball tournament selling out, sellouts all around the country. It's been really fun to watch, but as coaches who are seeing this all play out, Kevin, what's it been like for you? It's been wonderful. I mean, it's a great time to be a part of this sport. I'm just really happy for our student athletes that they get to experience the crowds, the media exposure, and, and just the overall growth of the game. And, and I think Joe's right. Um, We've had tremendous growth, and hopefully we can continue to capitalize on that. And I think we've got, even though Caitlin left, we've got still great star power in this league. We've got great teams, um, and I think the interest is there, and I think it's going to stay and only get better. Yes, um, I agree with Kevin. No, just kidding. Um, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, exactly. Second that. Um, no, I, I think to, to his point, though, um, it's a great time to be in uh, college women's basketball. It's a great time to be in women's basketball, obviously, with the WNBA happening right now in the playoffs. Um, I think there's great new viewership and something that, um, you know, often said like, oh, man, women's basketball is, is so hot right now. It, it has been a really popular sport for a long time. I think um, we're really fortunate that there's more media attention now on it. And I think just like anything else, when you give and invest in it, um, there's always a return uh, or you hope so, especially in the stock market. Um, <laughs> but um, but no, I, I think um, it's a great time and really excited that we have so many men and women and young girls and boys um, watching and seeing these incredible women doing something that they love. Well, that's the thing. The talent always was there. The competitiveness always was there. It's just now people are being exposed to that. Joe, as a coach who's been around women's basketball the last decade, what's it like now to see some of that be recognized in what your players are accomplishing on the floor? Joe's been around for four decades, but anyways, that's okay. A, all right, story. we didn't need to get specific here, Kevin. I know you guys got a little something going, yeah, but come no, on now. Thank God I look young, you know. But uh, this is my 42nd year in women's basketball, and you know, one thing, just being part of it, and, and I taught on my staff. I have a great player, Tangela Smith who played 15 years in the WNBA and uh, one of the great players in the history of the Big Ten, Big Ten Player of the Year. Um, we talk a lot about pioneers, and, you know, we talk to our players about that a lot. And, and, you know, I think everybody up here is a pioneer and has given their whole professional career to women's basketball. We all got stories, you know, of 
driving minivans, 15 passengers, stopping at McDonald's, and it was great. You know, it was great. If you lost, it wasn't so great. But the drive, you know, eight-hour drive back, and I felt like I, I was the luckiest guy in, in, you know, in the minivan that day. So hopefully, you know, uh, the pioneers and the people that have set the table for what's happening now, I, I, I hope this group appreciates it, and I think they do. You all are such a huge part, too, of continuing to move the game forward. But before we look ahead, Marissa, I'm curious, has there been a moment for you as a woman who's a head coach in basketball where you stopped maybe in the last year or two, you looked around and you said, whoa, this is how far we've come? Yeah, I mean, I think <clears throat> I'm a little bit uh, probably not a great example of that because I got to be a part of a dynasty at UConn for a long time as an Fair. assistant coach. Um, so I had a lot of those moments. But I think as a head coach, um, you know, whether it was um, when Caitlin and Iowa came to um, – to the Cole Center and, you know, we had uh, this a sold out crowd or close to a sold out crowd, um, you know, and we, had, we, and we joked and I actually addressed the crowd and just said, you know, this is incredible that we, we can do this um, in women's basketball and you give credit where credit's due, but at the same time to know that there's fans um, in Wisconsin, the state who also can continue to, to fill those arenas. Um, but I think, you know, it's also just, um, I, I think each time that I walk into any arena and get an opportunity to lead um, you know, women uh, in this sport, and and you think back to Joe's talking about you know driving minivans and how far the sport has come, um, and so many different things. We just had a a reunion uh, with one of our 77, 76, 77 teams the other day, and they were talking about even for the athletic trainer would get ice out of the um, cups from outside to, to use ice. Like there's just a lot of things that have improved. And these young women, there was women who came before them and we have a responsibility to make sure that we carry that torch. What about you, Kevin? You've got court stormings going on in Columbus. There's all kinds of excitement around your program. Was there ever a moment where it hit you just in terms of of how far women's basketball has come. Yeah, no, it's just been really fun to see and to, to be a part of. And um, like I said earlier, just happy for our student athletes. But in, in our city specifically and in our state, they've really gotten behind our program in, in the sport in general. And as, as big as football is and all these other things going on in Columbus, um, I can't tell, I can't go a day without being in the city and somebody and say, boy, I really love watching your team. I love the sport. And, you know, no offense to my friends in men's basketball, but I, I watch it more than men's basketball now. It's a little more team friendly game and some things like that. So I think we've just evolved in a, in a, in a massive way. And it's just been awesome to see. And, and I'm really excited to see where it goes from here. Well, all three of you, again, are a huge part of continuing to move the sport forward. We appreciate the time, Kevin, Marissa, Joe. Best of luck this season. We'll see you on the desk a little bit later, so don't go far. But once again, we really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.